Rove convinced a handful of billionaires and millionaires to waste, it turns out, a lot of money to help losing candidates. According to a study by the Sunlight Foundation, American Crossroads spent millions, not only on the presidential race and Mitt Romney, but also on Senate races. Look at his track record here. Connie Mack in Florida, lost. Denny Rayburg in Montana, lost. Tommy Thompson in Wisconsin, lost. George Allen in Virginia, again a loser. Heather w Wilson in New Mexico, lost. Todd Aiken in Missouri, lost. His only senatorial winners of the night were Dean Howard, who was the incumbent appointed senator in Nevada, and Deb Fisher up in Nebraska, who didn't have the hardest time with Bob Kerry. The Sunlight Foundation, by the way, calculated how much of the groups, his groups, by more than $100 million went to candidates who, who won versus those who lost. It turns out his rate of return, if you want to put this in business terms, was an anemic 1.29% return on the dollar in terms of winners and beating people he didn't like. He was asked about Mr. Allison on Fox. Actually, Rove was on Fox. Yeah, look, if, uh, if, if groups like uh, Crossroads were not active, this race would have been over a long time ago. President Obama came out of the box on May 15th with $215 million of advertising over a two and a half month period designed to demonize Mitt Romney. Well, how's that for an argument? If he wasn't for, if it wasn't for his own money, Romney would have been less competitive and would have lost earlier. Well, how will that fly with the billionaires who put their money into this thing? Michael Isikoff knows all about this stuff. He's national investigative correspondent for NBC News. And John Holloman is national affairs editor for New York Magazine and an MSNBC political analyst. Gentlemen, you're both pros. Money. Money talks. BS walks. You've heard the old phrase from Ozzie Myers in Philadelphia. This time, money didn't seem to talk, at least not in the general election. No, look, or at least not for Senate and presidential. We've been all been talking all year about the post Citizens United world uh, with these super PACs, with their affiliated dark money uh, groups, uh, and uh, and how they can collect unlimited amounts. Uh, and it added up at the end anonymously to very little. I mean, the track record. I mean, Rove's job. What he was telling people. Is he was going to take back the Senate for the Republican Party. It wasn't just winning the White House. The White House was going to, you know, depend on a whole lot of things. But his job, what he focused on, was winning back the Senate. There were others. The Chamber of Commerce spent some, uh, north of $30 million. Their rate of return, according to the Sunline Foundation, uh, 5%. You go down the list of all these big super backs, and they struck out left and right. 